this is Artifacts of Mars, and this is probably the most grave news of the day. U.S. Fox, I don't know what that is. John Kirby uh, threatens Russia with more body bags attacks on Russian cities. The veiled threat against the Russians, it's not veiled. U.S. State Department spokesman John Kirby warns Russia of more body bags and attacks on Russian cities if the Russians will not cooperate with them in Syria. Uh, does it get any more obvious than this? This is blackmail. These criminals that are running our government uh, are threatening the Russians. Kirby's words didn't go unnoticed by a former Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson. And those facts, acts of terrorism will be perpetrated by moderate Syrian opposition groups. The car asked in her Facebook post, just ones that Washington has been unable to separate from El Nazar for as long as six months. What about terrorist attacks in France, America, and other countries of beheading and people of all national nationalities by IHS militants in Syria, is that all kind of a different paradigm? Perhaps another parallel reality? Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov said that U.S. statements on the suspension of cooperation with Russia and Syria amount to blackmail. Oh, duh. Yeah, he's right. His policy of threats and blackmail aimed at imposing solutions favorable to the U.S. and its clients. Ryabkov said, R.I.A. Navasti. It's impossible to reach settlement and stabilization on such basis, but there's no winning love by force. We have to. We have our own approach and principles, he added. Uh, we're very close to World War III, folks. There's no question. This whole Syria thing, that's nasty. And I got news for you. India and Pakistan are eyeball to eyeball. Plus, South China Sea thing. And are moving missiles into Europe. It's probably not going to be long, people. Extremist groups will continue to exploit vacuums that are there in Syria to expand their operations, which could include attacks against Russian interests, perhaps even Russian Syria cities. It's from the State Department again. Russia will continue to send troops home body bags and will continue to lose resources, perhaps even aircraft. John Kirby, State Department spokesperson, told reporters at Wednesday's press briefing. This is very bad. I kind of think that World War Three with nukes isn't going to be allowed, but I have a feeling somebody's going to step in and stop it. But I could be wrong. We could wind up mushroom clouds tomorrow. We are working on steps that we might have to take to begin to suspend our engagement with Russia and Syria. If you haven't taken any of those steps yet, said Kirby. The message to the Russian foreign minister today was that we are not, that we are perfectly willing and able to move forward on those steps that would end the suspension of U.S. Russian, that would end with the suspension of U.S. Russian bilateral engagement in Syria. That means war. This, this is just getting out of hand. It may look dry, but this is diplomatic language for we're at war.
my god, help us. I'm Artifacts of Mars.